Hello friends, followers and channel members. Today for you a quick video and in this video I want to address the huge amount of crash to desktops that people have been reporting over the last week or so in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now I think it's fair to say that no flight simulator gives you the amount of impressive visuals and graphic detail that we get in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but by comparison to that, no other flight simulator also gives you as many headaches and causes you the same amount of frustration as Microsoft Flight Simulator does. It's been known since day one to be not the most stable product. However, there are things we can do to help and I want to talk about these in this video. Now, last week, GSX Ground Services Extreme was released for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And at the same time this was released, customers of this product were reporting that they were instantly getting far more crash to desktops than they had ever had previously. This of course sparked an outrage with customers uninstalling it saying this is a terrible product, this product is what is causing all my issues and crash the desktops, I'm getting rid of it until the product becomes more stable. And so many users across the globe were reporting the exact same thing. Now, before I go any further, I have my own views on GSX for Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can check out my video uh, on that, which was uploaded a uh, couple of days ago. So go ahead and check that out. But with regards to the crash to desktops that people were experiencing, something funny happened a few days later. So it was reported that Azobo were actually doing some tests with the servers to try and get things ready for sim update number 10. And these tests and things that they were doing could perhaps have also been the result and causes of these crash to desktops. Now, of course, this was really unfortunate timing for FS Dream Team, the guys behind GSX, because the moment they released their product, Microsoft Flight Simulator, all these crash to desktops were occurring, but it turns out that actually this was something more Microsoft Flight Sim and Azobo related than it was ever to do with GSX. So if you are a customer of GSX and you have got crash to desktops, don't be lulled into thinking that it is GSX that's causing these issues. However, there are a couple of things as well that I want to mention. So I've had GSX installed for a while now and in all of my live streams when creating and filming the content for these videos, I haven't once had a single crash to desktop. So GSX, obviously not the cause, certainly not for me anyway. If you believe it to be the cause, let me know in the comments down below and explain your reasoning behind it. However, I did undertake certain measures to make sure that GSX couldn't be an issue for me. So. Before installing GSX, I made sure that I removed certain things from my community folder. I had Latin VFR's ground vehicles, for example. I also had Latin VFR's global jetways, two things which GSX goes in and replaces. I prefer the GSX models. I think they are much better. Obviously, they're also global as well, and I don't want that conflict in the community folder. There shouldn't actually be one according to the documentation that GSX have written in their manual, but better to be safe than sorry. So I removed all of those because I knew GSX was going to do all of that for me. Now, moving on to the other causes of crash to desktops. What about this one, which seems to be plaguing thousands of users of Microsoft Flight Simulator over the last few days? The NT DLL DLL error. Have you had this one as well? Again, let me know down in the comments below if you seem to be suffering with this. And the Microsoft Flight Sim team have also acknowledged that they are looking into reports of this. However, they have also come up with a solution. And this is all to do with making sure that your window is actually up to date. Now, I normally suspend my updates so that I pick and choose when I want my PC to update itself because there's nothing more frustrating than loading your computer, wanting to perhaps go ahead and do a flight only to find that Windows is actually downloading a load of updates in the background, really hogging the system resources. So actually, you can't do very much. So what the team are suggesting is that you manually update 
update windows so go to start check for updates there may not be any available but the main thing is that we check you can see I'm currently up to date here at the moment and I have been uh, for the past four or five days once you've done any updates that are available make sure you perform a full restart of your system and uh, after that and rebooting launch Microsoft Flight Simulator to see if you're still getting the uh, the crashes if the updates are uh, like me paused then of course you'll definitely need to go ahead and do this so that you've got the latest version and updates of Windows running if you have gone ahead and done this I would be incredibly interested to know if this has solved the crash to desktop errors that we're talking about please let me know in the comments down below how you're getting on with your crash to desktops any solutions as well that you found of course we'd all welcome reading those as well thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video of some use if you have then please do give it a like as well it really does help the channel and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss future content and live streams thanks so much i shall see you all again very soon bye bye for now